Uh, my name is Jim Gary, and I am a first officer here at LifeLight, and I've been here about 10 years. We're going to talk about the heating element boot that we have on the leading edge of the props. We have a de-icing capability in this aircraft, um, and it's certified to fly into icing conditions. Part of the equipment that we have on board is what we call a heated boot, or a prop de-ice. And if you can see on here, there's a black piece of rubber, and inside this rubber is a heat element. And what that does is it protects the leading edge of the propeller, which is an airfoil, just like the wing. So on the wing, we have an inflatable boot. On the propeller, we have an electric heating element that keeps the ice from forming. So this is kind of a anti-ice, and that is a de-ice. So basically, when the captain wants to turn this on, he flips a switch in the cockpit, and it, and it heats this area up so that the ice does not form. Basically, the system cycles from one propeller to the other propeller and then back again, and that's just because it draws a lot of juice. So when it's running, you have the heat element on this entire propeller work, and then it switches over to the other propeller on the other side, and that heats up and gets rid of the ice over there. Then it switches back, and it just keeps automatically cycling until you turn the switch off. You'll notice that the boot on the propeller doesn't cover the whole leading edge. Well, that's because this inboard portion of the prop, each one of them, it, this is the area where the ice can form. It, it possibly could form out here, but you'll notice that it's the, the airfoil is thick and it gets very narrow, almost to the point where it's real, real thin. Well, this portion of the airfoil is spinning so fast that when the water droplet hits here, it's not on the leading edge before it, it's, it, it just blows off. So it really doesn't form ice along this portion of the leading edge whereas it does here. And if you put a boot all the way out to here, this portion of the propeller spins so rapidly, almost at the speed of sound, believe it or not, when it gets out to here, that that boot would just rip off. Having an aircraft that's capable of flying in icing conditions is critical to our mission. Um, the aircraft, the King Air 200, is certified to fly in icing, whereas the helicopter is not. So during the winter months, the airplane is utilized more uh, to do the mission because it can fly in the icing condition.